from r slash fanfiction. What were your famous last words before clicking on something with tags you didn't understand? Water sports? What, like polo? Okay, I guess. Credit to Reddit user Bihexual for starting this thread. And let's go read some answers. Not me, but when I showed my friend AO3 for the first time. E, that stands for everyone, right? Alpha, Omega, what do Sonic characters have to do with this? Horror, nah, it can't be that bad. It was worse. Oh, main character death? Oh, but the tags say that both the main characters survive, so it'll be fine. That fic broke my heart. Literally every single other character died. Why are people so interested in citrus fruit? Ah, uh, it's probably a crack fic theme. Ah, uh, ye olden days. Lemons when I was new to fanfic. I thought it was something about the fruit, like maybe they're harvesting lemons. Oh boy! When reading Twilight fanfiction, I thought BDSM stood for Breaking Dawn Stephanie Meyer. A surprising introduction to kink. This one is much more lighthearted, but when I first discovered fanfiction, I was lurking around on fanfiction.net. The author put slash in the description? What does that mean? Are the characters gonna fight with swords or something? Oh! They are kissing! Fighting. With their mouths. Something, something, tongues battling for dominance. I was 11 when I thought smut was about a guy sharpening his sword. In a way, I was kind of right. Angst, no comfort? Oh, like angst with no hugs. Okay, I can work with that. If only I found out sooner. <laughs> hey, want to know what happens when the AO3 meta tags mislabeled grooming as categorized together with wing grooming, commonly found in wing fix? Nothing good. Heavy petting. Like when you pet an animal, right? Not as bad as others in the thread, but yeah, heavy petting isn't about how much you play with a cute animal, it's just... Light petting is for bunnies and guinea pigs, and heavy petting is for Great Danes and other giant breed dogs. Makes sense to me. Wet and messy? I mean, they are in a broom closet, it's possible for there to be a bucket of water in there. It was, in fact, not a bucket of water. I thought edging was dangling someone near the edge of a cliff, or any precipice really, Batman style, and that confessor I'll drop you threat. Body horror, it can't be that bad, it's just words on a page. Oh, it can be that bad. I had the opposite and avoided every fic labeled dacrophilia, assuming it was some bodily function kink or something. It's tears. It's just a tear kink. I thought Dacryphilia was a type of dinosaur. It wasn't. But that fic did awaken something in me, so it's probably for the best. Wump? That's the sound a pillow makes when you throw it, so it's like a type of fluff, right? You poor creature. It's the exact opposite. Not even misunderstood, just me being a dumbass. Heavy angst. It can't be that bad. It's really lighthearted so far. Hardest I've ever cried over a fanfic in my life, by the way. Oh, come on. The author didn't understand how the relationship tagging works. I mean, Dr. Draken slash Potato is obviously a typo of some kind. Just remembered the time I was very into reading neurodivergent takes on my favorite characters, but for some reason certain authors would use custom tags instead of something searchable, like Autistic XYZ, ADHD XYZ. So I looked up... Overstimulation. I thought frittage was a type of cheese. Overposition. Thought they just misspelled Vaporeon. Dead dove do not eat? What, is there like a dead dove in this fic? Okay, I guess. Mm. Or alternatively, nodding. Does someone here have like messed up hair? Guess I'll find out. <laughs> nodding, what the heck even is it? Oh, wait, I get it. Because when you marry someone, you tie the knot. Yeah, no, of course.
squinting at a CBT tag on a fic. CBT is either cognitive behavioral therapy, which I would enjoy reading, or <coughs> torture, which I would not. It was not cognitive behavior therapy. Big thank you to my Patreon members, my little ruse, Seltzer Fountain Man, Kuski55, Logan, Fallen Vex and Sam, and Pa. I don't know why I wanted to sing it today, but thank you very much for being my Patreon members. I really appreciate your support. And thank you to my YouTube channel members, my mini ruse, AD and Taylor Thompson. You guys rock! And thank you to everyone else for watching. Let me know what tags have you been traumatized when reading fan fiction because you did not know what they meant and you clicked on that fic anyway. Let's all share our trauma below and have a really great day, everyone.